What's going on guys, and today we have another player review on this channel. Today we're going to be looking at the newly informed Robin Van Persie. This came out on Wednesday this week while I'm recording this, and he has a very, very nice looking card. He's 85 rated, um, I'm actually using him at centre forward and not striker. He plays for Fenerbahce and he is Dutch. 68 pace, 88 shooting, 84 passing, 84 dribbling, 35 defending and 70 physical. He's 6 foot 2, um, he's got me demo work rates, he's left footed. 3 star uh, weak foot, 4 star skill moves, he cost me 55k and in the 6 games I played with him, he got me 9 goals. So let's get into the in game stats guys, and here's some very very nice looking at in game stats. You get 88 attack positioning, 85 vision there as well, 88 reactions, so a few really nice 80 stats um, that help him be a good striker. He's got 89 curve, 88 finishing, 84 free kick accuracy, 85 penalties, 85 short pass and also 91 shot power there as well. So some very very um, high stats including some 91s and also 94 volleys just to top that one off. So into his player info comparison, he's 32 Netherlands, um, striker, left footed, medium low work rates, 3 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves and his specialities are poacher and clinical finisher and his traits are injury prone and flair guys. So as you can see going into it, the amount of times I hit the bar or the post, just the woodwork in general with this guy was absolutely incredible. It was, I think I hit it 5 times in the 6 games, something like that. Loads of attempts. As you can see, I put them all at the beginning, loads of times I hit the bar or the post here as well. He just couldn't stop hitting it. That that should be one of his traits because that's all he does is hit the bar of the post. I get so unlucky. That one was saved, I suppose you could say. But as you can see, again, hitting the bar. He just hit it so many times. It was starting to actually irritate me how many times he hit it. How many goals more he could have had. Um, but we're getting into the goals now. He scored some very, very nice goals for me, as you can see. A lot of them were kind of tap-ins. A lot of them weren't. Um, him doing all the work, like this one here, he won the ball back and finished that one off. But when he is in those positions, he normally does either hit the bar or finish them off. So he's very, very good at finishing, guys. Um, his close control is actually also pretty good. He's not great in a way. He's not one of the best cards I have used. He was... I feel like that was mainly because of his pace. He couldn't really get in front of defenders, but if he was a faster, he would be a very, very good striker. As you can see, he does have some really good finish, and his shot power does feel, I believe it said 91 he had, you really can feel it. Um, this was a nice goal here again, but he's got some very, very good long shots, and maybe just outside the box um, that are fun to use. In general, he's an okay card, not great, um, but he's nothing really too bad. So I'm going to give him 7.1 out of 10. Because there is quite a, I would say there's the same amount of negatives as there is positives. His positives are his long shots, some very nice long shots I did score with him. His dribbling as well is pretty decent, um, his close control and stuff like that. And also his weak foot. He's got a very good weak foot, his right foot um, he is very good on. I think he's got a quite a few goals with his right foot, so have to put that in the positives. we also got some negatives as his league. He does play in the Super League, aka um, the, uh, what's it called again, the Turkish League, couldn't even remember it there. Um, but that is probably one of the only big negatives for him, because hard to link him up with great players because there's nobody really that good um, rating wise and stuff like that in the Super League or the Turkish League. Maybe Schneider you could pair him up with but apart from that nobody really high rated guys so that's an one. His pace as well, he was struggling to get in front of the fans, he was struggling to outpace people um, which is pretty annoying and just in general he wasn't great, he wasn't that good. Um, I didn't really enjoy him, he was okay for bits in the game, I think he scored it was something like um, seven goals in one game and that's because the guy had stopped playing for bits of the game and stuff like that and in the other four, uh, four or five games he only got two so he was very very inconsistent and he just in general wasn't that great guys if you want to go pick him up and try him out for yourself make sure to do that and come back to this video after you've done so and tell me if you did enjoy him team of the season is coming out and when this video is posted it should be out about an hour later maybe half an hour after this video is posted that's when team of the season should be um, uploaded guys and that's when I'm going to start uploading loads of FIFA content for you guys hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video if you could smash 20 likes that'd be absolutely insane guys subscribe as well if you're new to the channel and apart from that i'll see you guys next time